this is Sonia from my happy space welcome back at my channel today I'm going to do something different we're going to decorate a frame with some Kelly Banks printables which I picked up recently from the illustrated faith shop they are adorable and the theme is space for Jesus and recently my husband built me a little desk um, in our my room to do my devotions at so I'm going to take you along now and I'm going to show you how it looks Okay, this is the desk area I'm talking about, which I want to make the picture using the Kelly Banks printable to make a nice display there. So this is the little desk my, my husband built me, and it's in the corner, tucked in the corner of my room. And I love it, because there is some space there at the bottom for some books and things like that. I've got my lamp here in the winter when it gets a bit darker, and my little oil my little oil lamp, which I bought in Israel, reminds me of the Holy Spirit and be filled with the Holy Spirit. I try to keep it fairly clear because obviously this is a place where I need to work and do my Bible study. And this is a little bowl with all my pens and things like that. I actually bought it for my daughter, but she didn't want it. It was too pink for her room. <clears throat> and then this lady, which is offering something. And it reminds me that I'm offering my time and my devotion to the Lord in the mornings, which I obviously love. And this is my stack. I've, I've got a video about my stack. I will leave it for you up here um, at the top if you're interested in that. And yeah, so this is where I'm going to do it. And this is my space of worship. And that's why I was inspired to use this Kelly Banks printable. And I'm going to, as I said, make a little display there at the top. When I, you go up there, is a print up there, or a little um, picture, but I think there's plenty of space to put just a small little frame with the Kelly Bank printable up there. So I think it would look nice. And this desk has really helped me to um, have a good time in the morning spending with the Lord, having a comfortable place to sit. Be able to write things down is much easier than sitting on a bed and doing it. And my craft space, unfortunately, is connected to my kitchen, so it's not really private. So this is to me a little private place when I put the door, close the door. Hopefully my kids know that I'm spending time with the Lord. So yeah, so let's go ahead and make this display. Okay, I've picked this frame up from a local shop. I was really struggling to get the right frame. So it's black and I don't really like black, so we're going to paint it. But in the meantime, I'm just showing you these beautiful printables. Um, I've adjusted my principle a little bit to fit in there, but it's all about Jesus, space, your Bible, little scented candle, just to create this space for Jesus to worship and to spend your time in. I know at one stage it was very popular to do a war room, things like that. So this is my little place. So this is the principle how I have adjusted. I've made them some smaller. That I actually made bigger because I wanted to make a statement to say space for Jesus. And then some of them I made smaller to put on a little table, which is also part of the printables. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to sand this black um, off because I want to paint it. And obviously, um, you know, it needs to have some grit for the paint to sort of um, stick to. Um, I don't think I've sanded it enough. I did sand it beforehand. So I've, I've just sort of did the final sanding here on camera. But I could have sanded even more because at one place... The paint didn't really want it to um, take very well. So my idea was to paint it, obviously, with blue um, with blue paint. But I wanted to have white paint underneath, obviously, to, to make it so the blue can actually, the, the blackness can't come through. And then I wanted to sand it also afterwards so the whiteness can come through from the paint underneath, if that makes sense. But because I didn't sand it very well, um, the paint didn't stick very well, so the brownness or the blackness is coming through but actually at the end it turned out actually very nice I didn't mind it at all it actually really gives this authentic rustic look um, I just like the savvy chic look I can't um, afford fancy furniture so then the alternative is to go for the sort of the shabby chic look um, which I anyway like so I, I'm just using basic acrylic paint um, just to give it a coat, it probably would have been better if I did a primer, but uh, my husband wasn't at home and I didn't know where to go and look for the primer. So I just thought let's just use acrylic paint just to stick to it, to hide most of the blackness. 
I probably could have gave it another layer, but I think I was a bit in a hurry. Um, I wanted to do it. I wanted to get the video up. So, yeah, um, prop, my husband always say with DIY, proper planning is the best thing you need to do. Pre prevent poor performance. So how much you plan and preparation you put into your DIY, this is going to determine the success of it. So learn from my mistakes. Um, take your time. Get the right tools. Sand well. If you want to attempt something like that. So I've done sort of one layer of coat. As I said, I should have done a little bit more. But as I said, luckily it turned out very nicely for me. So this paint is sort of just leftover paint, which I actually had for doing my desk. But um, I think when my husband painted the desk, he put a little bit more white paint in. So my desk is a little bit more gray than this frame. But I don't mind it if it's all the same type of tones of blues, these tough grey blues, which is absolutely one of my favourite, favourite colours. Um, dusty pink, gross pink and tough blue, greys. This is absolutely my jam, as you know it. This is my favourite colours and I'll probably never um, get tired of it. So I'm just painting a layer. As I said here, I think at the top or bottom. At the moment it is at the bottom, but eventually it's going to be at the top. I figured out that the paint just didn't want it to stick to a certain part. I actually, when the paint was dry, I actually tried to sand it again and went over it again, but it still didn't want it to work. So, yeah. So, um, and I gave it about two layers. So, I think that's probably enough. If you wanted a very, very finished and slick look, that is obviously um, what you need to do. So, what I'm doing now, I'm taking the sandpaper again and I'm just slightly going over it to get rid of the paint on top. Just as I said, to create this beautiful, rustic, really oldy worldy look. My house, um, the interior decorating is quite oldy worldy um, sort of vintage. So this goes perfectly with it. I've got lots of frames and furniture like this. Um, my desk my husband made me also is also like that. He painted it and then he sanded it a little bit off. But the, the brown hood grain is coming through. So that also looks nice. So I've just decided to seal it with a matte um, varnish. Just to obviously protect it. That dirty marks doesn't go up. My hand marks doesn't go under or it's just just to seal it um because it's matte it quickly dries and it doesn't have any shiny effect so i'm glad i did that so yeah we're going to start now with the fun bit the decorating this is papers also from rosie studio um one of the designs i think it's called country lane or something like that i, I can't remember but um so I sort of like the background. I was struggling to find the background. The pink papers I had was not the same type of pink in the printable. And also the doily I was going to use. So I decided to go for something fun like that. And I inside the background is maybe a little bit busy. But I have sort of went around that. I'll show you later what I did. So I mean just looking at that. That looks to me absolutely beautiful. You can actually just put that in there with one quote or a big heart or whatever you want to do i love, love this type of of art in my home i'm not really a person for real paint art paintings in my home i just like all these little diy type of things so i'm putting the space for jesus and yeah i love this idea of creating this space for jesus i think it creates a little habit for if you have a nice comfortable space to do your bible study in a space which you feel this is your place where you meet the lord every morning I think it makes you more successful. It sets you up for success, that you're actually going to spend time with the Lord. Um, I, I think it's very, very good to create habits. I mean, our reliance shouldn't be on all these habits we make, and that's not going to make us holier. But it is, it also said in the Bible that work out your own salvation, meaning work at it in the in the sense that you're not you're not working at it to be saved, but if you need to put practical things in place to make your relationship with the Lord better, just do it. Um, before I talk again, I've decided because it's such a busy background, I'm going to back these sort of phrases with pink pattern paper um, just to make it stand out again. And that was sort of my way coming around the fact that it is such a busy background. I've actually backed all the printables at the end like that. So just to make it stand out. And I wanted to put these phrases in. Praise God, quiet time, pray to God, seek in Bible study. Because this is what you do when you are spending time with the Lord and you're creating that space 
Um, it's also almost a physical space you create, but you also create a mental space. Just to get back to creating, doing something practical to spend time with the Lord. As I said, for each person, it's going to mean something. For some people, it mean maybe go earlier to bed or delete the app or um, watch less TV or go wake up earlier. Whatever you need to do to work out your salvation and to, to make that practical steps to spend time with the Lord. For me, um, it was definitely creating a nice, comfortable space and to trigger me to actually spend time with the Lord. Um, I used to do it on my bed, but since um, I'm reading through the Bible this year, it takes quite a long time reading through and I want to make notes. It became quite impractical. Um, I got like sort of uncomfortable in bed. And I think it's actually good to move away from bed, not to have that same feeling of I'm sitting in bed. But I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. No problem for me, it was just better to actually get up move away from my bed, get my cup of coffee and come and sit at this little table and actually spend time with the Lord. So have a notebook, write things in, be comfortable, not having to worry my legs is cramping up or whatever. So yeah, that is what I do. So I, I just love this. I was so excited when I saw this printable. I thought it would be perfect because I just created a little space um, in my home to spend time with the Lord. Um, and this is a little beautiful little haven. I just feel so happy every time I see it. So I'm just rearranging all these quotes, which I've backed up with the pink pattern paper, and just to put it in there. And as I said, it was important for me to have these things. And now I'm going to create this little display with the lamp. I've, as I said, I've resized the printable. I probably could have made that lamp also a little bit smaller. I don't know if it um, work very sort of if it looks a bit awkward on that little um, stand and then I made these books and I put the one of the scented candles on top of it um, and then I just printed it much smaller and then I printed all these this little cup with pencils this is the original one and that is the small one which I've done um, and so I'm going to put that on the table so this is sort of a representative of you sitting in this beautiful chair with your stack of Bibles and your pencils and your light and you do your Bible study in the morning. And um, yeah, I'm just going to rearrange, make sure that I put that straight. And the verse, so you sort of also printed part of the printables is Jeremiah 20 verse, 29 verse 11 to 16. It says, then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you and you will seek me and find me when you search me with all your heart. And I'll let myself be found by you, declares the Lord. So that's a beautiful verse that if you really seek the Lord, you will find him. And he's so faithful. He will never turn his back on you. He will never leave and forsake you. So he will always be keeping his side of the bargain. And the habit I've also really sort of started in the mornings is just ask the Lord before I start my Bible study to, to show me his wondrous things, to open my eyes to the things you want me to see today in his word. Encourage me when I need to be encouraged. Um, exhort me when I need to be exhorted. Um, discipline me when I need to be disciplined. Um, tell me whatever I need. If I need hope that morning, I'm sure he's going to give me hope. If I need encouragement, he will give me encouragement. If I need exhortation or be convicted of sin, I trust that he will do that. So that is the wonderful thing about spending that time with the Lord in the morning um, and just trust that he will speak to you in a marvelous, and this is a, a direct text message, a direct message from heaven every morning, a love letter you can open. And that is that makes it so exciting and that makes must make us so excited to spend time with him in the mornings. So many people are deprived of it. So many people live in persecuted countries, which I can hardly open their Bibles in public. We have this wonderful privilege to have all these Bibles available, Bible journaling. We are spoiled to the brink. Um, yeah, and let us just appreciate it and grab it each morning to spend time with him or whatever time that is in the evenings and afternoons, whatever time you prefer to do it. So I'm nearly done. So I'm going to pop it in the frame and show you and stay till the end because I'm going to show you how it looks in my little place. So if you like this video, please give it a like. I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please let me know. Let me know if you've got a little Jesus space created in your room or in your house. I'd love to hear where it is and what habits you put in place.
Okay, this is how it looks. Unfortunately, it's a bit of shadows on the glass, but I think that looks nice. I think I'm actually just going to keep it up there. I'm not going to hang it up. It's just a reminder, visual reminder for me that this is my Jesus space. And um, all that quote, seek him, praise him, quiet time, and that verse which I've put up there. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this little DIY project and let me know if you're going to attempt something like that. I'll leave all the links for the printables down below. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.